because I know I'm going to be there. I'm going to be live streaming my dumb ass, walking up and down <laughs> those those streets, interviewing folks on the way. It's going to be a lot of fun. And you know, it, it's it's beautiful downtown. It's not like you're just going to hike down the street or something like that. Go in Center City, where the Art Institute is. They got shit tons of them big ass fountains. I mean, the scenery is just beautiful downtown. It really is, especially at nighttime. So after after the concert or whatnot, if y'all decide to come in on a Friday, go take a gander downtown at night. Take take a look around. It, it, it's really nice. I mean, there's 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 a lot to do here. Plenty of stuff to do here. So even if you want to use it as a little vacay, hell, come down early. Hang out, shit. Let us know that you're that you're coming in town. We'll come hang out with you. Um, so if you got any questions whatsoever about uh about I got your six two, you can email me at Brian at dangerousgroundsnetwork dot com or shoot me a PM or or any of the guys or whatnot, and we'll kind of keep filling you in with what's going on. Yes, uh, we're, we'll be staying at the Holiday Inn, downtown Charlotte. I know you're thinking, Holiday Inn? Really? No, dude. Let me tell you something. This Holiday Inn has pools, jacuzzis on the roof. Not inside, on the roof. I mean, they got one inside too, but they have a full restaurant downstairs. Uh, you know, you can sit there, have a few drinks, you know, not have to worry about drinking or driving and be able to go back to your room. The rooms are extravagant, and also, for us veterans, I thought it'd be pretty cool to maybe hang out with some of the map guys that will be walking around. <laughs> Give them a little going away party. <laughs> Shit. Those kids don't know what the hell's going to hit them. Nope. <laughs> hey, what was it like when you were, did you get trashed the night before when you were at MAPS? Um, no, actually I didn't. Oh man. See, I had one of those cool want to be friends with everybody recruiters. So he came and picked us up, brought us to, brought us to maps. And then after maps took us to the hotel, we're at the hotel. He's like, Hey, I'm going to take you guys out for dinner. So don't eat nothing. Takes us out to dinner, gets us obliterated. Now, mind you, I'm only 17 years old at the time. He gets us absolutely shitty drunk and says, don't worry, I will be here in the morning to wake you up to get you to the plane. So I butt cracked early, you know, 5 a.m. He's sure enough, he's there. He's got his own room key. He swipes it, wakes us up, pours me into his car, takes me to the airport, pours me into the into the seat waiting to get on my plane and uh waits with me until it was time to get on the plane. Then he says, all right, it's time to get on the plane. To get on the plane, I wake up in uh, Leonard Wood and don't have any recollection of the airport to Fort Leonard Wood at all. <laughs> I basically you got recollection whenever you got off that fucking bus. <laughs> oh, dude, that was the craziest experience of my life. It really was. I'm telling you, man, but, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, those kids have no idea what's ha- going to happen to them. No, they don't. They they really don't. They really, really, really don't. They they just. But, you know, the military has been dummified so much, man, that, you know, some, I hope, I hope, I hope a lot of things didn't change. Uh, you know, just, just from what you hear. Yeah, now I think they give you a breathalyzer when you get there, so you can't really get trashed before you get to uh, duty station or your basic training, entry process, or whatever. I didn't know that. I never got no breathalyzer. I just told get your fucking no. ass off the bus and put your feet in the fucking feet prints and stand in the detention yep. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> gotcha, coach. Yeah, I remember getting out those cattle trucks. Did you have cattle trucks? Did you get in the cattle truck? No, nah, we were just in a bus. Oh, man, yeah, we were in these cattle trucks that, you know, that the, if you don't know what a cattle truck is, oh, my God, they smell like ass crack and body funk from, like, the last 20 years of soldiers going to basic training. <laughs> and they're hot, 
And, uh, yeah, you're packed in there so tight you have no room whatsoever. And when you get off that thing, if you don't, if you fall, you're not getting up until the last man gets off. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <clears throat> that, was, that was quite the experience. <coughs> no, we did, uh, we just, uh, we just had the, uh, Mr. Regal buses. What up? Uh, Ron wants to know what was your MOS? I started, <laughs> my MOS changed a few times. I started off as a, uh, so what was that? Uh, night? No. I was a split option guy, so I went to base training one year and I went back to the next year. I think my MOS started off as like a 73 Charlie or something. I was like finance specialist. And uh, then instead of staying in a finance field, I decided I wanted to go artillery. So the next year, instead of going back to, uh, I think I was supposed to go to Fort Jackson, they sent me to Fort Sill, and I became a 13 Bravo. So I I became a cannon cocker instead of a finance guy. And then (laughs) later on, I cross-trained over. I went to to ranger school and got... uh, separated my shoulders so they sent me home well they don't tell you when you they send you home from ranger school you get put in an infantry uh company and then you cross train over to infantry so oh, shit. that's how i ended up there yeah hell yeah that's what's up um yeah you know <laughs> the finance part did you did you end up at fort jackson no, I never did end up at Fort Jackson. I think I went there one time when uh, I was going to school. I, I just got done with school for uh, a drill sergeant, a drill instructor uh, school, and then I went to Fort Jackson. I was It was right at the end of my career before I got out. I went into the Army Reserve into a drill sergeant unit, and uh, I went to Fort Jackson for like two weeks one summer, and that was it. That was the only time I ever went there. I heard that. I had to... Uh... When I went from reserves to uh, active duty, they uh, they stuck us at Fort Jackson for about a week, and yeah, you know, we're we're a prior service, so we got all our patches and shit, <laughs> and we got all these basic trainees walking around with nothing on their uh, on their coat, and uh, you have to eat the same chow hall. Oh my God, the questions! The questions are just crazy. Oh yeah, uh, it's the two weeks I was at uh, Jackson. I was a um, I worked in the office because I hadn't uh, I hadn't earned my my time as a, an actual instructor. So I just worked in the office, and uh, every night I had CQ. So I would get some private down there doing my running duty. And he would, he would, shit, I would always get bombarded with so many freaking questions to the point where it's like, dude, you just need to go away. I'm going to go to bed. You just go away. <laughs> you know, it's, just, it's, it's tough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. Ron says, relax in Jackson. Huh? Yeah. Relax in Jackson. Yeah, that's. Kobe, man, they 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 didn't drill sergeants didn't seem to be much of a pain in the ass till it was child time. Oh. Sorry, I'm just getting ready to head to work here, guys. So uh, I apologize <laughs> that I got to kind of bounce the way I do. But uh, man, I'm gonna have to let you go. I right, man. Well, have fun at work and stay warm and slam them houses together and we'll holler at you soon, man. Thanks for coming on with us morning. Hell yeah. Hey, 3% Nation, thank you very much for allowing me to come on and try to entertain you for a few minutes anyways. Until next time, I'll be seeing y'all. All All right, man. Be good. Later. All right, all right, all right. It's a big CJ Ripka from Ripka Media uh raw real and live uh show make sure y'all check that out and grit and grace too uh they're 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 pretty uh they're coming pretty really 
cool live stream shows. They do talk a lot about a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of helpful, useful stuff. And then sometimes they talk about masturbating, which I kid you not, it's actually one of the shows. <laughs> but, you know, just talking about a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? So, uh, so yeah, great, great things coming up for uh, I Got Your Six too. Uh, be sure y'all are, uh, be sure y'all are paying attention to, to the website. Um, I'll be giving you a heads up on, Hey, here in the next day or so you might, you might want to be keeping an eye on it, but until then just get ready for something badass. If you can make plans to be out here in October, please do. Uh, we're going to, we're going to the sponsors break. We shall be right back. What up, this is Aries Cobain of Redcon One Music Group, and you listening to the Dangerous Grounds Network. I mean, any place where I can say f*** is dope with me. I can say f*** right? Why y'all keep censoring when I say f***? F*** it. And f*** your safe space. Let's get dangerous. The Magic Vape Shop. Come on in to the most extreme vape shop in the USA. The Magic Man will slam and mix all your vaping needs at prices you can't beat. With all the vape gear at your fingertips, the Magic Man will provide you with all your desires. See us on the web at themagicvapeshop.com. Let's get vaping. Yo, this is Jeff. This is Mark. I'm Mike. I'm Greg. This is Meg. We are Kings Hollow, and you're tuned into Dangerous Grounds Network. You yeah. run by special ops veterans, putting people in war zones to work, working where others fear to tread. Each one of our products is manufactured in current or post conflict areas. Your purchases fund women's education, mining efforts, and healing our veterans. High quality products that make meaningful change for those less fortunate. What America will be for the world moving forward. This is Sam from Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Grounds Network. This is Rio of Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Ground Network. Hey, you want a freedom boner or what? Listen now. What's up? This is AJ from Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Grounds Network. And we're going to put a little bit of freedom all up in you. Yeah. 